What's up YouTube? I am Ryan Borden, a landscape photographer, and today we're going to be editing a photo of the stars. Okay, so first off, I'd like to start off by saying I was with my nephews, Christopher and Bryson, when I took this, and it's it's really special to me. They live out of town, and so I would, went to go pick them up, but on our way back, we, we found this, and it was dark out. I knew the schedule of the moon and all that, and so I figured I'd have a shot at getting the Milky Way. What's illuminating the barn is my car headlights. I have, like, daytime running lights, little LEDs, and so those are illuminating it, but I had Bryson using my sweatshirt to cover up one of them because two was too bright. And then Christopher, I was teaching him, he was behind me setting up my tripod. And so this is kind of a cool photo because it was just a summer night close to my birthday. Let's hop right into it. The settings of this photo are F 1.8, 10 seconds, ISO 3200, and uh, I took it using my 20 millimeter lens. It's slightly underexposed because of the car headlights, I didn't want to over illuminate the barn and so the stars aren't ideal, but we can bring that up. Okay, so this is as shot right here. This is in camera what I got. Uh, and so the first thing I do in Photoshop is I go and sharpen it a little bit and then let's go to the lens corrections, remove chromatic aberration and enable profile corrections. It brightens it up a little bit, calibrates the distortion in the lens to uh, accurately show. And I can see right away my horizon uh, is not level. So I'm gonna just use this little tool. There, now it's a level horizon. Now I'm going to bring the temperature up a little bit. It needs to be warmer. This depends on the mood that you want to portray. It doesn't really necessarily need to be cold or warm. I try to make it best what pairs with the mood that was there when I was there and so I mean, cold looks cool <laughs> uh, and warm. You know, if I went too warm, then it just starts looking really burnt and hazy. But we want to go kind of somewhere in between because that's what it looked like when we were there. And then I'll take the exposure up a tad, but I want the highlights, or no, it's the whites so that the sky will kind of help illuminate. Now that overexposes this corner, this bottom corner right here. Uh, and so I can come back and fix that with this radial filter tool. I will do it about like that and then I'll just go reset local corrections and then take the exposure down. So it's just enough and then it looks like this whole barn might start to get overexposed completely and so I'm gonna bring in another one and then I don't wanna go ex as extreme with my exposure just like the highlights and the whites down. Okay, and so now I see that right in this little area there's some green tint and I, I pretty much just want to tone up the, the colors of the wood in the barn. We can go over to this HSL. I want to take the yellows left a little to make that wood color a little more brown because it's just, I don't know if the wood is moldy <laughs> but uh, we want to take the, the yellows and make them a little orange, then we want to take the oranges and make them a little more red, but that one uh, affects the color of the sky uh, towards the horizon, so I don't want to tweak that one too much. So as far as the greens and yellows right here, uh, I think I should just be able to go to saturation and take down the yellows. Yeah, not too much. Maybe just the greens. There we go. And so then the overall temperature is about right. Okay, and then I always rev up the saturation just to see what my colors are. And I could see that maybe the oranges and yellows need to come down in saturation. Especially the yellows. Maybe go over to luminance, make the yellows lighter. Okay, and then we can take down the saturation again to a normal level, and that's a little bit more to my liking. Um, 
this looks a little overexposed somehow in the mix it got messed up so I can go readjust that to be just a little softer I don't want it extreme so my whole idea with this power line that goes out to the post uh, was to create some sort of effect that makes it look like there's a light on that post that's illuminating the barn I don't know maybe let me know if that worked or not but okay this is looking nice I've got a couple elements I want to remove you can see right here I've got some sort of house lighting so we'll go to this spot removal tool make it a little smaller and just what it does is it clones an area nearby it didn't quite work all the way so we'll do another one right here it <laughs> wants to pull it from the roof okay I mean it looks fine it's black uh, and then another thing that I don't like is this white door it's not white it was like galvanized steel and so my car lights illuminated it so much and so I might just try to remove it completely by using the same spot removal tool select that area that I want and maybe it'll pull from uh, no pull it's pulling from the wrong area so we want to pull from like over here see if this works kinda let's go further okay that that might almost work we can retouch it up in Photoshop later but yeah so it appears like a, a doorless barn all right so from here I might want to accentuate the Milky Way right here um, by using a radial filter and whoa that's black I'm gonna readjust this later but I want to size it up before I make the adjustments just enough okay reset and so I'm I'm gonna add a little bit of clarity I mean I'll add a lot so you can see what it does but a little bit of it a little dehaze I want to bring up those whites and down the shadows maybe make it a little more contrasty and then the clarity provided some good contrast so there we go that's what it looks like before that after that so a little more focus on that I mean that's, that's kind of the focal point other than the barn it kind of brings you to the barn or takes you away from the barn my images when I make them I I want to do something for your eyes some sort of journey your eyes take some sort of where you you notice the light as the leading line it takes you into the barn and then the Milky Way takes you out and so in my opinion the best photo is one that you have your eyes on the most so you're just looking at it looking over it for example when you're in like a doctor's office and you see a photo and you can look at that photo for a half hour that's that's a beautiful photo and so that's why I try to kind of have some sort of visual journey where your eyes travel and so it takes you in it pulls you out it circles you back around and you just can stare at it mesmerized and so if you're not trying to do that with your photography I would highly recommend you push yourself it's very challenging sometimes with uh, your elements but this was this was fun because just so many elements involved all right Milky Way accentuated I might want to add some tint yeah beautiful that tint is just adds this extra purple but I could see in the stars you know there's some sort of chromatic aberration and so how to do that is go to lens corrections manual and then this purple I mean some people might like that in the stars when you're glancing at it it just gives you this cool dynamic of oranges and purples in the stars but I'm gonna try to remove it by taking down chromatic aberration just by a slight amount there you go and it removes it just a little that way the stars look somewhat consistent throughout looking like a beautiful photo what I do know though is when I originally took the photo I had some vignetting up in the corners and so I want to bring that back because when I did the lens correction it kind of took it away so you'll, I'll, I'll show you enable profile corrections it just gives you a uh, uh, some nice vignetting god I almost like that original so I'm gonna use that for a little bit of inspiration take the vignetting down just a touch and then I think there's a different setting where I can also do vignetting manually just 
just get the corners so that it looks like space just goes out and gets so dark. I like the, the mood there. So this photo is looking like how I like it. Let's see if we could hit, I think it's Q. Yeah, to get a before and after. That's quite the difference there. Left being the original, right being my Yeah, the Milky Way, much more vivid. From here, I'll take it into Photoshop just to do some final touches on the mood. And so I will use this um, curves. I don't like doing curves in that pre-Photoshop program. And so I do it in Photoshop just as it is. I don't tweak it too much because if I did tweak it a lot, then I would like to do it raw. But once it's in Photoshop here, it's not raw. This is a JPEG that I'm editing. So I'll just bring up the darks a little bit. What I recommend with this curves is hitting all these dots, this one, this one, this one, and this one, and that one. So that way when you tweak the low shadows and blacks, it doesn't tweak the whites and highlights. I just mainly want to bring the shadows up so that way the blacks don't look super harsh. And so if you can toggle this eye to see before, after, a little too much, I'll bring it back a touch. And so yeah, I like I like that. It's a nice touch because it isn't super dark. It almost gives you some sort of dynamic range similar to your eye because uh, our eyes don't see black black. We see a little bit of this soft uh, darkness. And so I, I'm trying to replicate that. And it looks like it's close enough to make me happy. And so I'll get rid of that. Maybe final touches on saturation. I could go super saturated. Oh boy. Let's just go a little bit. It takes the image from pretty wow to uh, stunning. And so let's go to stunning. Turn it up to stunning. I like to do the color balance tool, see if my color is balanced. Ooh, making a, a touch blue really helps. All right, that is an image right there. I hope you guys appreciate that. Let me know if you learned a thing or two, because that would be rad. It is a rare breed that uh, not a lot of landscape photographers do. They like to wake up early for the sunrise. And so me, myself, I like to see the sunset and the stars. So that's my style. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment below. Let me know your, what your thoughts are on this photo. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Okay, so usually right here I do a outtakes reel. Let's go ahead and just do the before after repeated.